Hey guys, welcome back to the Rabbitat Homestead. Well, today we have a fun little project for you. Today we're gonna transform this pop-up camper into a handy little trailer for us to use. We got this camper off our neighbor's property. It was tucked away in the woods pretty good, so we asked the neighbor if we could remove it from his property so we could turn it into a trailer. And needless to say, he was glad to see it go, so we hooked it up and brought it home. Honey. <laughs> the tree grew in the hook. As we were working on this project and stripping the trailer for the frame, um, there was a moment in this time lapse when we actually stopped to take a look at the trailer and discuss whether it was worth it or not to move forward. It just seemed like so much more work than what it was worth, but ultimately we decided to push forward with it. Rather than taking this apart one screw at a time, we decided to move it next to the house so we could plug in a cutting wheel, and this made the teardown go a whole lot faster. Mm -hmm. 
Well, here you can see we finally got the camper stripped down to the frame. It was a daunting process, but we're glad that that step is finished. So now we're going to take a break and stop for some supplies we need to finish the project. As you can see, the tires are toast. So um, we're gonna have to go and grab some new tires while we are out. Me too. Although fenders were not a necessity for the trailer, we thought they would make the trailer look very nice. Um, so we went ahead and we checked out to see what they had for weld on fenders. These fenders here that he's holding now, you can tell they look pretty small, um, but we found a bigger size um, and a more square shape and we like that a lot better, but they only had one of them. Um, so we checked a second tractor supply to see if we could find more and we even made a couple calls to see if we could find them um, But unfortunately, we were not able to get a hold of a decent set of weld on fenders So the trailer will just have to go without While we were out we picked up a few miscellaneous things that we needed for the trailer we also picked up some wood for the trailer deck and some steel for the side rails. Now it's time to start building the trailer. We are going to start with welding the side rails on.
Now that we are all done with welding the side rails, we are going to paint the trailer before we put the deck on.
steel tag on the axle that says that the trailer is rated for 1500 pounds, so subtract the weight of the frame and the lumber, and we can safely put a 1200 pound load on the trailer. Now as for pricing, the tires were the most expensive part of this project, totaling $220. The lumber and screws was about 120 and we got a few miscellaneous things that we needed for the trailer, totaling about $25, plus the steel was $45. We did not add the cost of trailer lights or fenders, but we may add that stuff later if we'd like to register it and take it down the road. So roughly, it costed us $400, and Tractor Supply's cheapest trailer is $1,200, and it's smaller than this one and nowhere near as cool. We did this project over a two-day period. We started late on the first day, so if you would like to do this project, it can be done in one full day. So in the end, it was time well spent and this trailer will be very handy for us to have around the property.